a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show. We ask those of you who have not subscribed to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda. Today's show, I want to expose yet another Illuminati symbol that is in plain sight, and that is the eternal flame. The eternal flame, of course, represents Lucifer, the bringer of light, and the Illuminati's immortality. It also represents, as well as the Illuminati's belief that they're eternal and that they cannot be stopped or destroyed, even though we know that Jesus Christ will come, he will stop them, and he certainly will destroy them. Okay, so you see the, the flame all around us in a lot of places. You could start with the Statue of Liberty, which is satanic. It's really the horror of Babylon, but we'll get into that in another video. I'll go into great detail about it. Statue of Liberty, of course, was brought over here by Freemasons, French Freemasons, but the eternal flame she has in her hand. The Olympics, of course, is known for carrying the eternal flame. That started in 1936 by the Nazis. Uh, they were doing it in honor of Prometheus, who gave fire, a.k.a. knowledge, according to them, to human beings. So Prometheus passed the knowledge, the eternal flame representing the knowledge. You'll see it a lot, too, in uh, company logos. Standard Oil, which is owned by the Rockefellers, uses the flame, as well as Amico. Columbia Pictures has the flame. You'll see the statue of Prometheus on display in Rockefeller Plaza in New York as well. There's Prometheus holding his, his torch, his flame. Bank of America also, the flag underneath the logo, is supposed. it looks like an American flag because the colors obviously it's supposed to represent an eternal flame as well. And then, of course, you have other eternal flame symbolism that you'll find, such as John F. Kennedy's grave with the eternal flame that he has there. Obviously, we know who assassinated John F. Kennedy, despite the fact that the Kennedys are part of the Illuminati bloodline. But clearly, he was not going along with the agenda that they wanted him to go along with. And he got difficult to deal with, so they assassinated him. And of course, they wanted to leave their mark where he was buried, so they have the eternal flame there at John F. Kennedy's memorial. You also have Princess Diana Princess Diana, another person who was sacrificed by the Illuminati. Her whole murder was a ritual sacrifice inside of the tunnel. And they have the eternal flame there representing Princess Diana. So you see all of these symbols in plain sight representing the eternal flame, which represents Lucifer. Right? We know that Lucifer is the, the bringer of light according to the occult, according to Satanists. So you'll see the Eternal Flame in a lot of company logos. You'll see the Eternal Flame, obviously, on a lot of monuments. You'll see it where they leave their mark, like with JFK or Princess Diana, who they sacrificed. Diana, like I said, is a ritual sacrifice that was committed. But it's just another symbol in plain sight that they have out there. And it's important, like I've been saying, to know these symbols and share them with people. Because company logos and things like that, you know, they don't randomly... They don't bring in a guy out of school and go, hey... We're, a, we're an oil company. Um, you know, you want to come up with some, some uh, drawings for our logo? And then he goes, okay, well, how about some oil drums? Or how about this? You know, how about we just have an oil spill or something, right? Because representing oil? Uh, no, it's not how it works. That's why all of these logos have the Illuminati's handprint in it. You'll see triangles in the logos. You'll see eternal flames in the logos. You'll see butterflies in the logos. The list goes on and on of the symbols. You'll see the 666 in logos like Walt Disney. You'll see McDonald's. you see the 13, the arches. All of these companies, none of the symbols are randomly there. That's why it's important to learn this. Because then when you start seeing this repetitively over and over, you say, well, why would Standard Oil and Amico have the same logo? Why does Columbia Pictures have the woman with the torch just like the Statue of Liberty? Why, why, why? Why does the Statue of Liberty have a flame? Right? This is not a coincidence. It's all strategically placed there. It's all put there for a reason. Just like all of the symbols that we've exposed on this channel are put there for a reason. The monarch butterfly, the peace sign, right? All of these things have... You need to learn these things. It is crucial because your brain will start processing things differently. You'll look around and you'll examine a company logo and say, it's going, oh, cool, it's a logo. Your brain doesn't even register it. It just goes on. It moves on. 
because it's in an alpha state. But if you start looking at these signs and these symbols, right, you'll see their mark everywhere. And the eternal flame is just yet another one of their symbols representing Lucifer that we've allowed them to place wherever they want, where we've allowed them to make a mockery of Jesus Christ. As we live here in Mystery Babylon, it's highly likely that we're living in Mystery Babylon here in the United States of America. All you have to do is look around you and see the markings everywhere. I know people want to debate where it is, and everybody has an argument on it, but you can see the signs. You can even see the Statue of Liberty, who is the representing the whore of Babylon, right? And that is the image of the United States of America. Everybody thinks of the Statue of Liberty as like this historic landmark, right? We expose the obelisks. I don't know if anyone's seen that video, but the oval is another symbol, right, represents ball shaft. The Washington Monument is 666 inches in width, 6,666 inches high. Is that a coincidence? Nobody was there while they were doing it and saying, wait a minute, should we make it like 665 so that people don't, you know, you know what I mean? Because we know 666 represents the mark of the beast. No, 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 just make it 666. It's just randomly done that way. Nothing is randomly done. They leave their mark deliberately everywhere. So I highly implore that people share these videos that expose their symbols. Because if everybody starts seeing the symbols, it makes it a lot easier to walk around in a state of mind where you're awake and alert and seeing these things. Instead of walking around with your eyes shut, going through the motions of life on your phone, on your device, while all of this is right in front of our face. Because if people start seeing these symbols and they start putting one and one together, then they can start digging deeper and learning the truth about who these people really are. Instead of thinking that all of these companies have these symbols and their logos as a coincidence that, you know, some guy came in from the marketing team and just randomly decided to put a flame for an oil company instead of something to do with oil, right? Doesn't it make more sense if you really break it down and you analyze it and say, how did they come up with a flame for an oil company? How did they, where did they put one and one together? If people think like that and start processing, <laughs> using thought, processing this information, then we will have a mass awakening occur. Then they will start seeing that we really are living in the end times, that the scriptures really are true, that everything that is in the Bible is coming to life. It is real. It is true. In the, re in the book of Revelation, everything in there is coming true. All the prophets that were speaking about the end times, all of this stuff, look, Wait, we're living in it right now. It makes the truth of Jesus Christ come more alive to people who are just sitting around, you know, aimlessly wandering through life, living as slaves to the system that we live in, living as slaves to money and the system that they've created. But if they start awakening, they'll realize that they've made a mistake and they'll come back to our Father in heaven and they'll realize that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And they'll realize that it was Jesus Christ who said the truth will set you free because he is the truth. He is what can break everybody from this mental bondage. So it's one thing to force feed Jesus onto people and say, oh, have you come on, because then they go, oh, stop it. Stop pushing your religion on me. They have to find Jesus Christ on their own. You can talk all you want about how he's the way, the truth, and the life. They have to find him. They can't just go, okay, fine. If he's not in your heart and not in your soul and you truly don't believe, then you're not a believer of Jesus Christ. But awakening people to see the truth awakening them so they just go, oh my gosh, all right, a lot of this stuff is not making sense. What's going on? I abandoned my Christian ways many years ago. I abandoned Jesus Christ many years ago. But now that I'm seeing all this stuff going on around me, I want to come back. I, I realize that it is true. The Bible is real, that this all is happening. And I need to get, I need to get right with Jesus Christ again. So that's why it's important to awaken people and not just only talk about Jesus Christ, especially on this channel. The point is to expose what's going on so that they can reassess what's going on and re-find Jesus Christ and rebuild their relationship with him. Or if they never had one, realize that they've been misled their whole lives because we live in a satanic system that is trying to keep their souls away from Jesus Christ, that's trying to keep their souls away from our Father in Heaven. So that's why it's important to expose these symbols. And the eternal flame is another symbol out there representing Lucifer, the, the bringer of light, according to them. And it's in plain sight all around you. So thanks for listening to today's show. God bless all of you. May peace be with you.